Okay, people, we finally got our hands on some spoilers for the upcoming chapter of Boruto, Boruto chapter 76, and I'm gonna just keep it real, I took a little breeze through the content that we're about to get hit with, and this chapter, there's only one major thing that I can say, okay, that is very huge and awesome, but... Boruto, you're killing me fam, Boruto chapter 75 finally had broken the monotony, you know what I'm saying, Boruto 75, the reveals from Amado regarding his daughter and everything that has happened up until now, even though yeah, he, he's still a little shady, a little shoisty, so to speak. Nevertheless, that was a huge chapter for like, boom. Now we're cooking with some gas, baby. Let's go. And then cut to the spoilers at the very least for this chapter. While it sounds like it's going to be entertaining and possibly even enjoyable to a certain degree. Yeah, the same gas that we was cooking with last chapter. It kind of was running a little bit low because there's a part of the chapter that, again, I got to stress, sounds like, holy cow, let's go. We about to get there but a good majority of this chapter is the bachelorette and slice of life and i'm gonna read you i got the spoilers right here why fam what what did we do to deserve yeah I don't know. I'll let you be the judge as a matter of fact. Let's read. Shoutouts to Abdul Zoldak. He gave us, for starters, Boruto chapter 76's cover page titled A Woman Sanctuary or Sanctuary for Woman. I think the title refers to the pillow talk Sarada Sumide and Ada have in this chapter. And it's a cover page of Ada with the furs looking like very, you know, she, she looks swagged out. Ada's character design is awesome. No, never been a discrepancy there whether or not she has a dope character design. And again, really awesome cover page but pillow talk between Sarada, Sumire, and Ada, that doesn't sound like, oh my god, I can't wait for that. It, it doesn't, but let's carry on. Then we got, the chapter begins from where it left off from last month, Boruto's reaction to what he and Momoshiki just saw. Boruto then recalls Momoshiki saying that eventually your blue eyes will take everything away from you. So clearly, they're, they're, they're keeping going in line with this whole prophecy that has been built up and built up, uh, but also at the same time, it just feels like it's recap like <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, alrighty then Kawaki mentions that he resented karma and his goal was always to get rid of it and considered the karma to be the culprit behind all his suffering but he now deems Otsutsuki to be the real culprits for using humans and implanting karma on them so you're starting to see the shift in Kawaki's narrative and his mind of he's really starting to put his focus and hatred towards Otsutsuki now it's starting I think this is it people I think we're starting to get the reasoning behind hey why is Kawaki attacking Boruto in the future what's happening here I think it's not necessarily Boruto it's that yo dog Otsutsuki is in you because come on let's be real here he's gonna know at the end of the day what happened with Boruto and Momoshiki just recently like he's gonna figure it out at some point right but even more so this is like okay Kawaki he loves the Hokage, but we're seeing now, okay, he has a deep hatred and everything he's been through, he's starting to pin it on Otsutsuki, which again, Momoshiki is inside of Boruto and Momoshiki's Otsutsuki, alright, alright, that's something else that I didn't really attribute to things, so okay, okay, we got, we got a big thing there as well, that's not the big thing I was referring to in the opening, but that is something notable that within character development for Kawaki is this hatred for something that Boruto is, hence what could be the reasoning behind the clash that they ultimately will have Amado starts tearing up thinking about his daughter and Ada says that she's tired and refers to Kawaki as dear everyone rests new day tomorrow yo imagine he's trolling imagine him and Ada are both in on it and there's no daughter and he's just there like pulling an actor type of vibe like oh my god I don't even know what I would say at that point I would be like genius well played I don't think they'd go in that direction but that would be genius like imagine Ada just looking at him pretending to cry as she knows that there is no daughter or something that would be fascinating and one hell of a plot twist just throwing that in there uh but yeah night night time a uh, restless night for everyone except damon he doesn't care so damon being the rambunctious and annoying kid that he is again what what is this like dog night night time like really we we, we on night night time <laughs> you see what i'm saying like there's parts of this chapter that doesn't sound it just sounds like you know slice of life stuff man boruto mentions why does ada love kawaki surely he also falls in the otsutsuki bracket ada replies by saying that boruto you are only 12 meanwhile i'm 16 and Dama says it's not that you are an otsutsuki it's your face basically 
Damon is saying, you don't got that swag like Kawaki. And Ada saying, you're a little too young for me, fam. You know what I'm saying? Maybe when that time skip Boruto hits, she might look at him a little bit different. Although then she'd be a little bit older. I don't know. Maybe Boruto is just not in your cards. Now, if this was Nakaba Suzuki writing this, hey! <laughs> Boruto, Damon, and Kawaki start arguing at the breakfast table. Then suddenly she mentions that she needs more girls at the house and demands for Sarada and Sumide as they are the nearest available. Okay, I'm gonna throw the argument that uh, that is a good thing that they're coming into the story now again, Sarada Sumide. Uh, but I need more girls in the house. We're having breakfast. Like, okay, just all right i know you're probably thinking for nev we need all of these things why are you complaining i'm not complaining about these things i'm complaining about these things in unison with can we get on with it <laughs> Sarada and Sumire are both shocked to hear their names. Mitsuki wants to go with Sarada, but Konohamaru says no as he was affected. Shikamaru offers his help as he wasn't affected originally, but even he falls down. Delta wanted to go, but Sumire did not allow. So more flustering over, uh, aren't you in heat over her? No, you are. No, you are. No, you are. I'm going like, okay yeah <laughs> what the fuck are we reading ada asks sarada and sumire to come with her so they can talk away from the boys ada starts talking about her feelings concerning kawaki blush blush then asks sarada what she thinks about all this sarada well that doesn't happen to everyone dog really are they trying to capture the my hero academia fandom or and what i mean by that is that my hero has a very massive female fan base and that's what this feels like it's trying to appeal to and if it does and i guess job well done the only thing boruto will beat damon in is video games boruto can't win otherwise so boruto's good at beating damon in video games guys yeah ada talks to sarada and sumire about her feelings for kawaki and her uncertainty as to why she likes him is it love or something else the conversation is long but ada does mention to sarada that what are her feelings for boruto sarada gets flustered so no progression in that angle still at the end of the day they're they're young you know what i'm saying they're 12 yeah. momoshiki's thoughts get crosswired with boruto yet again momoshiki was thinking about ada enchantress ability so boruto questions him right then kawaki figures out that boruto has been talking to momoshiki and asks momoshiki to come out chapter end that's the big deal of this whole chapter right there boom you was wondering like yo for when we're gonna get that right there that essentially he's calling him out so he figured out that boruto can talk to momoshiki again remember he hates otsutsuki momoshiki's otsutsuki momoshiki's inside of boruto yeah do the math but even more so hopefully setting up that maybe next chapter momoshiki is gonna go crazy and things is gonna go haywire because i'm not even gonna lie aside from slight character development on certain angles with certain characters this chapter yet again feels like a lot of fluff with like key moments scattered sprinkled and then the ending of just okay we're about to get things going next year's boruto is going to be amazing because this is the last chapter the last spoilers that we're getting for boruto's manga of the year and it's like a big moment it's like hey let's start 2023 off in a big way but my god going from baria mode versus ishiki going from the plot twist of kashin koji actually being a clone of jiraiya to pillow talk and i might be totally alone on this i'm curious what you guys think of these spoilers that we got for boruto do you feel like this is going to be an impactful chapter again the ending very very big is pushing the story forward if it goes in that direction and boruto tells kawaki i say less and momoshiki comes out that's where things go haywire if it doesn't and boruto's like oh i can't momoshiki we we just talk once in a while or he tries to lie there's where there's gonna be something well if he tries to lie i think that's okay too in terms of progressing the story because that's gonna piss kawaki off even more i feel like are you in cahoots with the osutsuki like is your brain being taken over maybe you don't realize that momoshiki is in more control of you than you even understand so there could be an aspect there and just in general big key moment at the end but as a whole this chapter is like god damn dog whoever's penning this shit i don't know fam what's going on your real thoughts and expectations i think the chapter itself is going to be more enjoyable and entertaining having everything all there in context but in terms of key moments and progression based on what these spoilers say there's one big one at the end and the small thing with kawaki's character development and that's about it dog i don't want pillow talk i don't know stop please what are we doing so laugh for this one I'm for the world and as always people have an awesome day subscribe and hit that bell to get more and don't worry it won't just be pillow talk fam i promise